Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Coffee Corner. Today is your episode 104. Yes, I remember the last episode was 105 and today is 104. How weird uh, because I forgot to do 104 and I thought that was 105. And one of you reminded me, no, where where did the 104 go? So here we go. I did think a, a lot about the topics I want to do for this episode, but of course there are millions of ideas. I just didn't know where to start and how to talk about those topics because I didn't want to make it too much. But I guess there are two things I do want to talk about because myself, uh, I find that talking about things about myself makes everything more natural and easier. Anyway, first the thing is to be honest with yourself. Um, it sounds very easy and it's funny, like, I know you're going to be honest with yourself, but sometimes it's very difficult, especially when you have very, very negative thoughts and you have to admit that's a part of you, like what I said in the last video. And you want to say, for example, uh, I had some moments like I was just so tired. I just want really, you know, get my anger out and I want to yell at people. And then I start to realize I can't do this. You know, you're, you're a good person and you shouldn't be doing that. Everyone is innocent around you. Why, how can you do this to them? Then I realized uh, it is me and I do feel very mad at the moment. I do feel very anxious. And I want to be honest with myself that, you know what, uh, this person inside of myself is going to break out and go crazy. And the reason I am not going to go crazy is I'm going to be friend with that guy. And I say, you know, what, I understand your emotions. I understand your feelings. Uh, everything is going to be okay. It might not be okay now, but everything is going to be okay. But right at this moment, it doesn't matter what kind of things are happening to you, small things, tedious things, or huge things. To you, that is huge. And you have that reaction. It's totally normal. And I want to admit that I am going crazy at that moment. Once I realized that, yeah, I, I do uh, I do have that kind of thing that I don't like. And I can be like that thing I don't like. And it is okay. As long as you don't hurt other people. Right? You can find a corner, find a space, find a private room and then sit there and then start to have a conversation with yourself. What's going on? Why are you doing like this? What did it, what, what kind of things triggered everything now? And you can ask yourself, you can write it down, you can have a verbal conversation, whatever you do, that's going to help you. I think what I did, what I normally did now uh, is to um, think about everything I went through and how I reacted and what kind of feelings, emotions I had at the moment uh, when I was in the dark room with the Ray trying to put him to sleep. Uh, because I can't focus on putting him to sleep with that thing. That will drive me crazy. But I can think about something else about myself, right? How I should be, well, I should be, how I should be nice to myself. So at that moment, I realized I'm a person. Uh, I, I, I have different roles and, you know, I might have to juggle among roles. But uh, at least, you know, the bottom line is I am a very person and I have a very normal emotions and feelings and I can be mad and I can be upset I can be wanting to yell at people and that is okay but as a human being as a civilized human being you have to control it which is really sad you have to control it because you don't want to hurt other people and other people have no responsibilities for your emotions and feelings and there are a couple moments that I was really mad at my husband. The existence of him there makes me really mad. And then I want to say, well, you know, because of you and now I'm really sad. I know I'm having a bad time or something like that. And I realized, wait a second, how you feel is not because of other people. How you feel is you, how you feel, right? It's you. It's not how other people feel. And you have to be responsible for how you feel. Even if there are bad people there, they're difficult people, and you just can't have a conversation, you can't get along with them, they make you really mad every day, especially at work. You're just really going to have to be man up. You have to own your emotions, own everything, and then say, I'm going to heads down and then just work hard and do what I need to do, learn as much as, much as possible, and if there isn't a chance that I can get out of here 
and I'm going to do that. But I, there's no need to have this conflict or argument with someone else. It's just a it's just going to make everything even worse. So that's what I told myself. And I remembered what happened when I uh, had my first job there. I did have a really huge uh, burnout and I had an argument with that guy who treated me really poorly. But then I realized, you know, oh, well, I can't control him. I can't change him. And the only thing I can do is to change myself. I got to be honest with myself, right? I have a limitation, right? My ability is right there. There's so much I can do. And there's a lot that I cannot do. I have to acknowledge that and be honest with myself and then list everything I can do and I will do to make my situation better. And that's also a way to be honest with yourself. This whole process is going to be very painful. It's just because you have to face what you don't want to face and everything you don't want, everything unwanted is going to hurt you really bad. And that's why we tend to avoid encountering what we don't like, right? We're trying to hide, we're trying to avoid and those kind of things. But once you face it, once you have the gut and courage, you say, I'm going to really hammer it and then you're going to do it and you're going to do really well. So that's why you just need to you just need to just squeeze a little bit, a little tiny bit more courage, more um, time and effort, and then you will see the result instantly. And that's a really interesting thing. Another thing is, oh, uh, well, this is the second week of me back to school, and I feel pretty good. I mean, I'm tired by the end of the day, you know, after talking a whole day, and then... Uh, <laughs> playing with my little one, putting him to sleep, all sorts of things. By the time I sit here and set up everything, I'm just very exhausted and my brain just has stopped spinning. <laughs> and sometimes I don't even know what I'm talking about. But then the one thing that has changed and I noticed that and it makes me very happy. I used to criticize myself very much. If something doesn't go really well, um, then I will be very mad and I will think about uh, oh, it is my problem, you know, I didn't do well, I didn't make everything perfect, I didn't make, thing, make everything happen, uh, those kind of things, and I will be very mad at myself, and this time when I came back to work and I realized uh, it is not my problem, you know, whether they want to learn it or not, whether they think this is a boring class or not, it is not my problem, I'm doing my best to teach to deliver the knowledge to them, whether they want to learn it or not, uh, I can't. I can't be responsible for that. Especially, they're all adults. They can do what they need to do, and they can do what they want to do. And of course, they have a right to do what they don't want to do. Uh, of course, they have a right to decide what they don't want to do. And I'm not going to force it. And in the very first week, I said to everybody, "So this is the." first time and it will be the last time I'm going to force everybody to come to the front and then start to present their topics to practice their speaking and of course I have a few students who are very reluctant to stand up there and talk I said this is the last time I'm going, I'm going to push you because this is a very very good opportunity for you to really improve your speaking if you don't cherish it uh you know what Let's start from next week I'm not going to really push you because I'm not going to freaking babysit you. That's the whole thing. And I cannot babysit everyone. And for you, if you are doing a job or if you're doing a group work or you're, you're doing anything that you have to babysit everybody and you put a, so much pressure on you because you want to make sure everything goes super smooth, goes very perfect. And you're going to take it easy, right? You're going to be nice to yourself. You can't babysit everybody. And then that's a lot of pressure. I'm babysitting my baby and I'm already very exhausted. And I can't imagine babysitting everybody. So if that happens to you, you can make this very clear firmly and make it clear. And you say, this is something that I'm going to tell you what you need to do. You're going to do it. You will see the results here. And there are benefits, I mean, the, the downside might be it's painful, it's a lot of work, it's a time consuming, but overall, then, you know, you will have a lot of benefits there. You, you can't just lay out every single thing that you can tell them about and then let them decide. And the next meeting, next group worker, you can just say, I'm going to just let go. You decide whether you want it or not. With the difficult people, same thing. You don't have to deal with them. You know, the whole whole thing is 
you want to deal with the things. You want to smooth it. You want to, you want to not have argument or、uh, confrontation. And that's very difficult because with the difficult people, they're gonna bring up a lot of trouble there, right? They're troublemaker, and it doesn't matter what you do, they're gonna do something to make you unhappy, and they're gonna blame、uh, everything on you for their own emotions and feelings, right? So that's very immature, but that's them. But you are not going to treat yourself poorly like that because you know you didn't do anything wrong. As a teacher, I had a very、uh, pre- well prepared lesson plan. I know what to do, step one, step two, and I have a whole very well scaffolded、uh, lesson plan for everybody. And you learn grammar, you learn you learn、uh, speaking, you learn listening, reading, and writing, very detailed. And if you decide, you know what, it's too much. I don't want to learn, and it's too hot. I feel sleepy, or some sort of things like that. It's not my problem. It's not my responsibility. I don't care. And then I all of a sudden realize that I am not criticizing myself anymore, and I'm very happy. I sometimes have very good classes, and sometimes don't. And it is normal because it fluctuates, right? Everything has its own rhythm. Sometimes you have ups, sometimes you have downs.、Uh, it is very normal. You're just gonna be honest with yourself. Did you do everything with your full effort? If you did. Let go. That's it. Then the rest of it, you can't be in charge of it. You can't just be responsible for that. And that's it. You you've done your job. And I find that it makes me it makes my life a little bit easier、uh, t- about work and about other people. And I feel happier. So that's why I'm saying, hey, I want to talk about this. And another thing, <laughs> very funny. One of the students,、um, he came late all the time. He left early all the time. And then I was talking about we're gonna have assessment on Friday, and then he all of a sudden said,、oh, "I have a question about that." I said, "Sure." So I said that on Monday, and then he said, "Oh, you know what? Friday, <laughs> Friday,、uh, not many people come to class. It's gonna be a small class, you know, and maybe it's not a good idea for 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 us to do assessment." And I was just, if if this happened before, I would jumped on the. Whole conversation and cut him off right away, and then just argue with him. But I was very patiently listening to him with a big smile. I said, "Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, you can keep going, you can keep going." I let him finish his talk, and then I said, "Okay,、uh, is that my problem? Is that my fault?" And he's like, "Oh no!" I said, "Yeah, it is not my fault." And I told you on Monday, and you have four days to plan your week, and Friday is going to be the test day. He said, "Oh, but was, you can decide whether you want to come or not.、Uh, you don't have to come.、Uh, I'm not going to force you. I'm not going to chase you, and I'm not drive all the way to your home and say you're going to come to do the test. Right? It's your own responsibility." I was so proud of myself. I was so proud of myself, and I felt so good afterwards.、Um, so after that, I was like,、oh, "I really need to do a video about that." But I just couldn't find time. I was so exhausted by the end of the day, and、uh, so much teaching, and especially my husband teaches at night, and then it's just so much work.、Um, and I haven't cooked for my little boy for his lunch, and I was like, okay, you know what? He's gonna eat those pre-made dinner meals, and he's not gonna die. And before I would be like, I need to be the perfect mom, and now I find that he survives. He's healthy. He's happy. A little bit, some pre-made stuff or processed food is not going to hurt him. And you have to just be easy on yourself and let go a lot of things and be、um, be nice to yourself. Don't be too harsh on yourself. That's what I learned from the last two weeks you know, from a little one, from everyone, from Bob too. I think one more thing I really need to do a little bit better, need to kind of improve a little bit is how I treat. Bob, I think because Bob is such a nice dog, he doesn't require, he doesn't ask for a lot, and I t- sometimes tend to lose my patience and temper on him if he acts out. I, I know when he acts out, he just wants my attention, but at that moment, I'm busy with other things, and I would just want him to behave. And then I, of course, starts to get mad at him, but he doesn't do anything wrong. He just wants attention, so. I'm going to remind myself how to how to deal with him, how to treat him when there's moments that I just can't split myself into 
different pieces for different tasks. Um, that's what I want to do. And I really like the way to record myself talking about those kind of things. So I remember how to improve myself. It's like a self-reflection and a very uh, verbal version kind of thing. Anyway, that's everything. Uh, there might be something wrong with the audio, but I don't know. But I hope you like this episode. If you do, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share this video so that other people know me. And of course, I hope you take care of yourself and be safe and then stay warm. See you next one.